Uh, my first training session was in the age of five years in the second league club of Austria where my father was a professional player. After this session I didn't go for six months to the training because I found it horrible. But then with six I uh, started again and from this day on I was completely into football. <laughs> It's my father, he's not just uh, my mentor, he was, uh, he's also my best friend. So each day we talk a couple of times just about football, so he inspired me a lot. He was also my coach when I was professional player in a club and I can say without him I would have never achieved anything in football. I'm born in Austria in a city called Krems where I never lived really because I was just born there when my father played for this club. Then we moved to another city where I lived for 15, 16 years uh, where I played also my first uh, part of my professional career. And yeah, in Austria football, let's say it's on, not on number one, but on number two. Number one will always be skiing. But now our national team is that good and uh, everybody really loves football in Austria. For me, in my career, I never had one position, so the, my be best positions are always number six and number eight in centre midfield. But I started my career as a striker, national team I played left wing, um, then in Champions League I played box to box number eight. So um, I feel good as long as I'm on the pitch, but if I can choose a position, it's always number six or number eight. My first club was a uh, second league club of Austria, BSV Leoven, it's called. I played there until my 18th birthday. Then I moved uh, to a third league club on loan for a year. It's called ISK Freudsberg. And then I came back to, to DSV Leoven, to my home club. Played there my first uh, professional years. And then I moved to Sturm Graz. It's the, one of the biggest clubs in Austria. Uh, from Sturm Graz I went to Italy, to Triestina played there one and a half years and then I moved for four years to FK Austrevin where I achieved uh, many, many good things. I won the title in Austria, played Champions League as well, Europe League as well. And from FK Austrevin I came back to Sturm Graz. From Sturm Graz I went to Esfarid and after Esfarid luckily I moved to India. The difference is huge, to be honest, because um, in Austria, for example, the speed level is much higher than here. But here, for example, you can't play with a pace like you play in a country like Austria, where the weather conditions are completely different. That's the biggest part, you know, when you play here always close to 30 degrees. Uh, we hardly ever have this in games in Austria, for example. But as well, India is on a, on a decent way. We're on a good way here to achieve in a couple of years much more. Um, yeah. Playing in Champions League is the biggest thing you can achieve, especially when you're a player from Austria, where hardly ever so far a club qualified for the group stage. So these games have always been special, you know, you feel just in each part of the game a huge difference. When we thought like players, that we're good players, after this game we thought we were horrible because the difference between such a world-class team and us unfortunately was huge. But we've seen as well playing against Zenit St. Petersburg or FC Porto, if you go to your limits, if you give your 100%, you can achieve a lot. So this is something I put out of these games in the Champions League. I have to be eternally thankful to Ranko Popovic, the gaffer of FC Pune City, when I moved in January 2018 to India because he called me, he wanted me. I always said I want, in the last third of my career, I would like to see something different, completely different, another culture, another league. I have to thank him every time I see him for giving me the opportunity to come here because that's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my career. First of all, I've always to mention Marcelinho because from the very first day I met him in, in Pune, he really helped me to, to adjust to India, to adjust to the team and everything. We're really not just teammates, we're really close mates uh, right now already. So he's really far the best friend of me here because we have a really a strong connection to each other. But uh, like Matthew Kilgallen, I'm sharing the room with him for away games. He's a great guy. When I'm at home these five months of vacation, I'm FaceTiming that much with Roy Komar, with Kamaljit, with Gurtej, 
with uh, Sail Panwa. So I have not even one guy in the team I would not invite to Austria to visit me because they're all great guys. Team and everything. We're really not just teammates, we're really close mates. Um, before I came here, I didn't know absolutely anything about the city because there was no ISL team, and we didn't. We, we came maybe once for uh, for a connecting flight to the airport, nothing else. Then at home, I was on Google a little bit uh, looking for the city, and I have to say, it's for me so far the best city I've seen in India because it's it's a high tech city. You have a lot of decent places to go out to hang around. You don't have to be just in your hotel where you live. So. I wouldn't mind staying longer here than one season. I have to say as well, luckily we played against Kerala, which have a good fan support as well. So the crowd was outstanding. It was like from each corner of the stadium we had the support. So we are just looking forward that they come in crowds to the game because if they fill the stadium, it's really sometimes like a 12th man on the pitch. So we need a each and every one in the stadium. Guys, I can just tell you that you did a great job so far. We hope you come and cheer for us in the next games as well. Together we can achieve a lot. And we're looking, really looking forward to the next games with you in our stadium. Uh, I don't know because nobody is allowed to do something with me. So they have a huge respect, I think. <laughs> no, but we have a couple of guys like uh, Giles Barnes tries to do each and every time anything stupid so i'm laughing but it's not funny for me at all <laughs> no no we have him he is like a like a guy who loves to joke and from the indian boys there's one young guy is called jacob and i'm just waiting to return something to him he did to me so stay tuned i will maybe record it for you my favorite international player right now is luka modic he's also playing the same position that I'm playing. I love the way he plays. And Indian player, I really like uh, the way how Robin developed in the last couple of months and the last season when I played with him. And in the national team, if they give more trust to Ashik, he can be really a decent player playing also abroad. That's the thing that I really wish for him as well. So right now he's for me the best. I have many hobbies. My biggest hobby sounds strange, but I love when I'm bored, I go just to the gym. So I love spending time in the gym, especially when I'm home, because my gym in my town is like a meeting point of all my friends. So when I don't reach somebody, I just go to the gym and anybody is there always. Up Hyderabad, Kelega.